Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the promo for the Rarity Falls episode, Boundless Pit. Named after the Boundless Pit. Seen near the shack. The episode aired on March 1st, 2013 at 9, at 9 central, as part of the Platypus Eve celebration marathon. The plot of the episode involves all the, all the our four main characters throwing stuff down on this pit until Stan's selfishness actually sends him, him, his his children and and sisters down to the boundless pit. Now to spend now to spend time time the four tell stories. The first one was told by Dipper called Voiceover. The, the 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 story of Voiceover revolves around Dipper being teased about his 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 silly puberty voice and so he is so he is like to drink a po a tonic from old man McGucket. When he wakes up he now gains a deeper voice and he is now portrayed by well, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, I just a research on the fandom, the Rally Falls fandom. Uh, Deborah's ultra voice was portrayed by A. Smith Harrison. I don't know what the A stands for, but but continue with the plot of voiceover. Right? Deborah's life becomes the Oh, it's a disaster when, when no what nobody recognizes him. He never turns to McDuckhead to get another tonic and and they revert back to his old voice. He also dumped the rest of the, of the tonics into Sam's coffee. And now and now Sam's kind of like a woman. Now for for part two of Boundless Pit. So this is a really great pinball story. Or as long or extended. So this is really great pinball story. Is that a good title? Do you have to be like puns or whatever? The plot of the story is that Seuss is trying to win his old creepy pinball sh machine, which is called, called Tumbleweed Terror, created by Baldway Baldway Games, I think. However, after t after Dipper Man Woman Sue's cheat by tilting, and the, the cow the cowboy guy zaps zaps the trail into the into the into the game, in which they now must fight back against the young thing guy while Sue tries to shut down the game. In the end, it works and. And Sue's feeling that he has a new life accomplishment, which is saving his friends. That was a really nice ending. Now for part three, probably my worst favorite, least favorite of the bunch. Sparkle Stan wins the football ball. Part of the story is that Stan was a football football game and teaches the yeah. Football players, those four friends, the less that old people aren't useless. He was a trophy. If it what, and, and it was all thanks to a side, it was somehow sidekick, footbot. Seriously, Stan replaced his children with a a robot with only feet. I didn't like that story. But the final part is. Is Mabel's story called Truthink. The part of the story is that Mabel is, is sick and tired of Stan constantly lying and resorts to use using Dipper's journal to try and find find out how to make her stop lying for good. She eventually learns about about tr gold truth teeth, which will allow which will will prevent the use the wearer to lie. This unfortunately spirals out of control as the premier will grow to more and more lose their sanity. Not really. It's hard to go 
lose their minds over this inability to lie. Seriously, this was one wild episode. I mean, three parts, all in one. Perfect way to start, perfect way to make an episode. Friday, March 1st. Some sort of invisible pushing force. Seuss is called Wind. Three stories at once, just jump to the bottomless pit. There's no one around to see you with. Just find a way until you come back out. Seriously, I'll have to wait until you, you come out the other end. Rear end of the portal. I mean, the, the pit. <laughs> 